up morning guys welcome to today's video it is glorious out it's not like a summer's day but it is nice out sam cut all the grass i'll show you after my pig goes pee <laughs> I actually love our yard. Well, I mean, I don't love this yard, but I like our yard without so many cars in it. Uh, my van's over here. Gabby's car is at school. We're not going this way. We don't go, come on, Ellie. We don't go towards the road. Come on, you gotta stay in the back. Stay in the back. Come on, come on. Thank you. Get going that way. She only goes where food is. Do you guys see her growing though? Get. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep her weight healthy. My friend messaged me this morning and she was telling me about how once pigs get older they don't run like she does and that's actually a myth or at least I believe it's a myth. Um, it, they don't run and do pig zoomies when she's the scratch when they get overweight. So she is gonna get bigger and she's probably not gonna run as much when she's older because she's a baby and babies run more. You guys know that just from your own selves. But adult pigs still run, still do zoomies. It's just when they get overweight that it becomes a problem. Look, she's going right back where she wants to go. No, nope. <laughs> she's so mad. Oh. <laughs> she's friends with with Ellie. It's funny to watch how pigs interact with one another. <laughs> Ellie can jump! The minute I take my eyes off her is the minute that she disappears. So I gotta watch her. Get moving. Go run. So today, whoops, today I got this thing in the mail. It's a Danely belt. Do you guys know what a Danely belt is? It's Velcro. Basically, oh I see how it works now. Basically, it's like a pelvic support. Basically, it's a pelvic, pelvic support belt. Sam's over there doing hay. And what you use it for is for sciatica. You guys know I have really bad sciatica. And when I got older, I started to have an issue where my discs started to be bulging. So when my, my discs bulge in my back, it puts pressure on my sciatic nerve and causes me all sorts of problems. And it was the worst that it's ever been this winter. So <laughs> I wanted to be able to give some support to my back and see if it makes a difference this summer because I plan to be so busy this summer. <laughs> Pigs are itchy people, itchy animals. Oh baby, hello. Every time I squat down, she thinks I'm gonna give her food. <laughs> that was her being sassy to Ellie. Ellie and her compete for my love. <laughs> they both don't want each other to be around me so funny as soon as i take my eye i want to tell you guys about my belt but as soon as i take my eyes off her she'll be gone and i'm worried she'll go through the road because she did once so it goes around your pelvis around like where my sciatic nerve is and then you have these other two straps and you tighten them and it supports your pelvis it pushes your body into proper into a proper position so you have good posture I think a lot of my problems is that I spent so many years having bad posture. In fact, I like, because I'm tall, I feel it made me have harder posture. Like so many chairs are not designed for tall people. So I would like slouch down in them. Oh, but just putting this belt on, it feels so supportive and so good. It's like a compression belt that you can make tighter or looser. I love it. I might even sleep with this thing on. Listen, we're not going in there. Come on, you will end up in a stall. I got things to do and places to go. I got places to go and things to do today. Come on, Ellie. She's gonna get mad. When she can't get through there, she gets mad. Oh, I knew it. I knew she'd get mad. What's wrong? Why are you screeching? Aha, uh -huh. trouble in paradise? She gets herself caught in here. He blocks the door and he won't let her out, which is a problem. What's the matter, baby? You want me to get you out? Yeah, she tells me, see? 
He's the problem here. Oh, 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 stop. She just doesn't want to be around him. I am going to put the pig back in her bed. She just needs to grow a little more before I can let her run wild because she gets free of everywhere. Three. Hey, Wait a minute. So we locked the chickens. We got the chickens to go in the back field now. And two of them are out. Three of them are out. How are they getting out? Those are the ones I put toad with. You can collect all the eggs. You guys are going to have to find a new spot to lay. Everybody's unhappy. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. The other chicken got out. Never mind. They know how to get in there and lay. I wonder what leg, egg she lays because she's a new one. So, oh, alright, let's go in here. They all want to lay. All these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They all want to lay in there. So, remember I told you? Oh, Ellie! Ellie! Oh, it's a toad. Ellie really likes to chase the guineas. I hope this doesn't end up backfiring on us. So, I don't know why Sam put this wood here. Seems. The horses don't get oh, that's so smart. What a good boy he is. So they can get, oh, I love what he did. Even though we locked the horses up. He's amazing, actually. So uh, maybe I'll put some straw in here and this could be like, do you have water and food out here? We should put water and food out here for them. Except for that honey can get under there. Especially toad, because I don't think toad can get back up there. Oh. All right, anyway, the, ho the, the ducks and the chickens are all getting a whole new area that they can go out so they can go out everywhere the problem is is that the the mini horse can just go under this no problem he's gonna have to fix that <laughs> all right let's get them some water and did you notice no horses are out here you we just, closed the gate. oh you closed the gate so that the chickens can get used to it without the horses wow this all happened without me being here but <laughs> only one that challenges is ellie is the duck look they all want out they know how to get out <laughs> i feel well, bad I just don't want them on the road. I don't like that they go all over the place and go on the road. So they need to get used to being out here. There's one under there. One is under there laying. And there's three over there. And there's there. three over there. <laughs> At least there's only four. Spoken like a true man. Sylvie wants back boots for the horse. Oh, why? I know, but if she's not using them, why can't you use them? Because the Velcro gets worn out and I hate it. Sophie, do you want to bring this bag? Like, we have so many bags. Uh, Yesterday, we took Storm back to lessons, and I swear to God, he did so good. I can't even believe it. Sam's cleaning out the trailer. Oh, where's her fly mask? Did fly mask not get put on today? Obviously not. Oh, where are they? Actually, feels like a lot of pressure on my on my sciatica which is fine it just feels like i want to sit down <laughs> i want to sit down and take a break off of it but anyway i'm fine i have to get used to the belt and i'm gonna give it a good try and see if it helps my back i love that no flies are in the barn yet it's a fly free zone do you want this pink one that i washed but this one's not sewed so okay, it won't, won't fit your yeah we gotta go why are you wearing a coat i'm ready to take off my sweater all right, well, they're finding their way. They climbed underneath that little hole in the fence there. I wonder if horses are like, oh no, here they come with those stupid masks again. So if they got their, their fly masks on, good job. So I'm gonna post a video of Storm's lesson last night. He did so good. I, we were so proud of him. Like, so last year he had just come back off of lease. What? What? Oh, what's the matter? Oh, Gracie. Oh! <laughs> Gracie tried to smell the chickens, and the chickens went, ah! Spooked her. The field might be a little spooky for today. All right, let's go find her fly mask. So, we don't know where Honey took off her fly mask, but it has to be anywhere in these three or four fields. And it's bright purple, so you'd think we'd be able to find it. Anyways, Storm, so last year, last show season, Storm had just come back from being a lesson pony, and I swear he needed time to just get over that and relax and have time off. And he had 
lost some weight because his teeth needed being done. So the lesson burn did his teeth. And then when he came home, we did his teeth again. And he just seemed to like need that year to gain weight and just get stronger again. And, or just get like, I think he needed a mental break really. And he went back last night and he was almost like the normal storm. He was like the old storm with Gabby, but without as much muscle. So she spent like a lot of time just building up his muscle and getting him back into shape so that he'll be strong and fit and he can do some shows this summer. Sophie will probably do some in-hand shows with him because she really likes to show him in confirmation classes. He always does really well. The chickens seem to be loving the horse field. My legs are actually really sore and it's from milking. <laughs> milking is so hard. <laughs> what are you doing? She comes over here and scratches her butt. That's how her tail gets wrecked. Let me scratch your butt for you, Pen. Here. Oh my gosh. That's not that strong of a fence. Wow. Here, let me do it. What the heck? Come here. That's probably what Storm's doing too. Well, I'm gonna get some Honey, what? Oh, she's got poop stuck up there. Yes, yeah, she says. So, honey took her fly mask off and threw it, hit it, buried it. All right, so Sophie's new horse. I'm going to give you guys an update. She loves her, loves her. Hoppin'. You can at least fly spray, honey. Do we even have fly spray, Mom? We do have fly spray. Where? We do. So, I have this stuff. I need spray. Yeah. I really need to clean this stuff up. Yeah, let's get an empty bottle. Use this bottle. That's the stuff that we use for their conditioner. All right, Sophie's gonna go get it. We remembered where we put it. Look! Oh! <laughs> so that's how they're getting out. The chickens. I didn't clip their wings. Oh, I'm tired today. All right, so here's the thing about Sophie's new horse. Okay, so Sophie has this fly spray that we bought last year. It's really nice. It's like essential oil fly spray. And her horse was noticing, the horse she is trying was noticing the flies. So Sophie wants to take it. We told her we'd bring fly spray next time. So she's gonna stick that in her bag. Whew, smells good. No, Stay can. there. It's gonna help you, honey. You know, Put some on your hands and rub it on her face. So about the horse that Sophie's trying. Sophie is obsessed with her. It was already our horse. I would show you some clips from her ride this week. Sophie it loves her. What do you love about that horse? She's forward moving. She's Gracie's gonna get some now. It's kind of like a step down from Finn or a couple steps down from Finn. Finn raced and this horse doesn't race at all. She just goes like a nice forward movement. She's slow. Well, she's not, she's not fast unless you ask her to step up and then she just steps up. She's, I keep on saying the thing that I like about her the best is her personality. Like I don't even wanna like this horse until we go through all the checks and all the things to make sure she's the right one for Sophie and I love her. Like I already in my heart is like, this is the horse. Like when I think of the horse that God showed me in the stall when Chena was dying, both of them just connect together now. Like I feel like this is the horse that God is bringing us. And I don't know if she's perfect. I don't know if, I don't know. I just know that for right now, this horse seems like the right horse for now. And that's all I can like, I get inside my head and I get like, well, what if this horse doesn't like, isn't the horse she needs next year? What if this isn't the horse that, but this horse can, can do stuff. She can move forward. She can take little tiny beginners around and she can take bigger kids around. Put that in your bag that you take to the barn. Cause we promised her that we'd bring bug spray next week. She honestly is just such She's such an easy horse. She learns so fast. Like things that Sophie did the first time she tried her that she didn't really get, she gets this time. Like she's such a fast, fast, fast learner. She 
is like she understands Sophie so much fast. Like she just, she's picking up Sophie so fast. Like, I don't know, she, it's that she's willing and she's easy and she just does what she's supposed to do. Like she doesn't, like if you ask her to do something, she doesn't throw a fit and that's why our horses are like, like Penny doesn't really throw a fit if I ask her to do something, but sometimes she has stuff to say. Storm has something to say about everything that, that he does. If you look at him the wrong way. You look at him the wrong way, but I have to say last night he was amazing. He was amazing. I can't wait to show you guys the video. Anyway, we're definitely going to, we're going to ride her one more time and then we're going to lease her. Like, and let, like we're just, we're going to bite the biscuit. We're going to lease her. So if he's going to show her this year, jump right into shows, not to win. She's not hoping to win. She's just hoping to like ride her and get experience with her. Not everything is perfect about her. Not everything is perfect about Sophie. They have to learn some things together. So anyway, I don't know. She's the exact kind of horse that Sophie likes to ride and she's safe as heck. And those are like the two biggest factors for me is that the horse is a happy horse and she's willing and she's able. And if you guys saw Sophie riding her, you would be shook. She goes out into the arena. She just takes off, does her whole big, huge warm up the way that Gabby always does. Just go, like hardly knows this horse. She just goes out there, warms up, does everything that she does, she has to do. Like she just, she just goes to town, canters around like a crazy girl. And I'm like, who is this girl? Like she just has grown up so much. I think 14 is the right age for her to get a horse. Maybe she was too young when she got Finn, even though she had such a good experience on Finn and she loved Finn and he taught her so much and she taught him so much. Now is when she just innately has that confidence, that confidence that a teenager has. So maybe some kids can handle a horse when they're younger and, and some kids just need to wait la later, but I feel like now is the right time for her. But Stormy Boy is looking shiny and sleek and he's probably got, Gabby rubbed him down with muscle liniment last night and I'm gonna get her and I'm gonna get her to put it on him again today because he was riding last night that's for sure his muscles are probably sore too don't you know